Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at Laguna Performance Centre in Ashford and I'm here to test ride a bike that I've been really intrigued by. It is the Hyper Motard, yeah, 821 liquid cooled V-twin or it's pretty much L-twin at the moment, that's where they're doing it. Um, Cool single sided swing arm side mounted shock almost. Looks like a beast. It's pretty fun as well. Let's get on it. Fucking hell, this is really, really weird compared to <laughs> my riding position. <laughs> oh god, this is weird. This is really. It's so, <laughs> it's so weird! It's so weird being on this bike. Like, I ride nothing like this. You know, I ride uh, an inline four, really low down sports bike. And. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Going. That's it. Good boy. Now the other way. Yeah, it's properly strange this bike. <laughs> but such a giggle, such a giggle. It's got like this. It's got a lovely. Let's go through the bike. Let's go through the bike. So dash. It's fucking lovely. Really. It's very small, but it's it still maintains its clarity, which is quite nice. Good brakes, which you'd expect because they're Brembo's. The, um, yeah, the dash is really nice. These fucking mirrors, genuinely, I think you'd be better off with the bar end mirrors. These are just so pointless. It's, it's kind of funny how pointless they are. Like, I can, my elbow is very clearly displayed in my right hand mirror. Do you know, <laughs> I haven't had this much fun on a bike in so long. It's just, it's so strange for a Ducati. When you get used to it, it's not that strange, but I tell you what, the first, if you haven't ever ridden an enduro bike, which I haven't before, it is so strange getting on it. Because you sort of feel the bars and you can fling them about, you can fling the bike about so fucking easily, it just... It's, uh, as I said before, 821cc liquid-cooled V-twin, Testa Stretta Mark II model engine. It's, uh, this model's pretty much bare bones, this is what you get sort of thing if you buy it and you don't put anything on it. This is pretty much a standard, I think is what he said. Um, it's cool. It's it's got this wicked funky style to it. It's got <laughs> the most ridiculous riding. I can't get over the riding position. It's just mad. Um, these uh, these these things are cool. These like mudguard bar end things. They're cool. I like them. The uh, it comes standard with uh, Diablo Rosses. Uh, Rosa Courses, Diablo Rosa Corsa thing tyres, uh, which is like sports tourer version in Pirelli, and they're fucking great tyres, really good tyres. Um, it it sounds pretty cool, sounds pretty cool. This fucking tail tide is hideous. That's got to fucking go. That's disgusting. I don't know if you've seen this, guys. Look at the um, look at the start up procedure on this. It's fucking mental. Look, look at that. Fucking mad. It's just, <laughs> I have to admit, for round town and stuff, if you can, uh, if you can adjust to the like the talkiness of this, fuck's sake, mate, just fucking go. There's no one. If you can adjust to the talkiness of this engine, it's fucking cool. Like really cool. 
Stop waving and just fuck off. <laughs> ah. Wind's uh, wind's actually not that bad. The wing mirrors are so bad you can't see anything in the It's just like by the time you see something in them it's way too late. <laughs> way too late. Just grunt. A really angry engine inside an elephant. This is such a laugh, this bike. I'd love to own one of these because... Well, there you go. That's, <laughs> that's all there is to it, really, guys. <clears throat> I'd love to have one. They're just like, they're just really fun. You know, it's, there's nothing serious about it. It's just like a pantomime the whole time. You just get on it and you're just smiling the whole time and going, <laughs> just giggling away like a little girl. Comfort-wise, you could, <laughs> you could ride this for days. I'm not even kidding, like, days, it's it's mad, it's just so comfortable, like, you don't feel like you're on a bike, you just feel like you're, it's a weird feeling, but you almost feel like you're a pillion, that's sort of the way I can describe it, you're so high up, that it's almost irrelevant, <laughs> handling doesn't really, it just, it just sort of happens, you don't really, you don't really have any input, it's just sort of like there, it's just, you sort of go like, oh please, just, can you, can you make it round this corner? All oh, right, yeah, why not? <laughs> Hysterical, like, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I now know why people ride enduro bikes. <laughs> right. <laughs> With this bike, you're not really obsessed with, you know, how fast you can go, how knee down you can do. It's like, it's more just the feeling. It's just this epic feeling that you get when you ride it. Go and test ride one. Seriously. Biggest recommendation of the year, guys. Go and test ride a Ducati Hyper Motard 821 or Hyper Strada, either one, whichever takes your fancy. Because it will put you in touch with the first time you got on a motorcycle. That sort of feeling of, oh shit, and and yet, like, awesomeness at the same time. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my next road bike is definitely gonna be something like this. This is so much fun! And it's a Ducati! Who would have thought Ducati would make something like this? I mean, it's mad! It's so mad for Ducati! You know, you never would have thought they would have gone anywhere near an enduro bike. Anywhere like an enduro bike. And yet, here I am, sitting on this 800cc V-twin brute. Yeah! And it makes you kind of want to know how to ride it. And once you click, once you once you get it, it won't take any long. And it's surprising, because when I got on this bike, I thought, oh fuck, this is, you know, I didn't say it at the start of the video, but I thought, shit, I'm just gonna look like a complete fucking noob the whole time I'm riding this, because well, I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to that sort of fucking riding position. But I've never actually sat on one before. But actually, when you start, getting used to it it's quite cool I'm not sure I should be as satisfied as I am with this tingling sensation in my nutsack oh it's such a laugh this this has this has been an experience and a half it's enlightened me to what to what the enduro people have been banging on about ever since they got their fucking bikes. They always say, oh, you've never had fun. You don't know what fun is. Until you ride something like an enduro. 
and I understand what they mean. It's like nothing. It is like nothing you've ever tried. It feels so different and so weird and terrifying to begin with. And then you get used to it. And then you start to like it. And then you start to love it. And then you can't imagine ever getting off it.